Tested. Hey guys, Will from Tested. I'm Norm from Tested. We're at Maker Faire 2011. I'm gonna go drive a Chevy Volt. He's gonna Come drive on. one. The first 25 to 50 miles in this are gas-free driving. And more if you're in kind of stop and go, less if you're in uh, freeway. Yeah. Then you have an extra 340 miles on the generator. And it's completely independent from the powertrain other than just electric wiring and stuff like that, right? Yes, um, that only creates electricity. You want to stop it. Stop it, yeah. yeah. It does have equivalent, um, it's had 273 or foot pounds of torque. Okay. So, really good get up and equivalent to a 250 horsepower on the right side. Does it have a, I mean, is it a traditional transmission or is it? No, it's an automatic one transmission. Okay. Um, since it doesn't. I'm like a regular beat, it's always right because it's there's no there's no gears, right? You're just one speed all the way through. Okay, so I just got to drive the Chevy Volt. I got to ride in it. What do you think? Cool. Um, it's real quiet. Very, very quiet. Very all we could hear was like the other loud boots at the Maker Fair. So we didn't obviously drive the full 35 and 37 miles yeah. that they promised you can get with just the electric engine. It was a relatively short course, but they did take you through like braking, yeah. um, and that charges the, uh, the, the motor a little bit. Um, if you look under the hood, so you have the electric motor right here, and that takes about 10 hours to charge on a standard 120 volt outlet. We can also get a 240 volt charging station installed, and that cuts the charging time down to four hours. Uh, about 35 miles, depending on your air conditioning use, your yeah. seat warmers. And, and, well, how, how hard you get into the gas and right. all that kind of stuff. Uh, but once you're down to like 20%, then the uh, the gas generator kicks in that uses normal gas, and right. that will give you an additional about 300, 340 miles. So more than 300 miles range. Let's go inside and see what the instrument cluster looks like. It's pretty cool, I can tell you. So we're in the car. Uh, this is the dash. Everything's touch with the exception of a few key buttons. Uh, does give you some uh, charging metrics and um, how your energy usage is. So what you're seeing is the instrument cluster. Over on the right side, there's a gauge showing uh, how efficient your fuel you're driving is. It goes up or down based on your, uh, your, your whether you're accelerating hard, whether the air conditioner is running, all that kind of stuff. Uh, of course, there's also the normal odometers and all that. It's telling us right now that the doors are open, which we are pretty aware of. Uh, and then the battery gauge is over on the left side as well. Okay, so that was our first ride in the Chevy Volt. What do you think, Norm? Um, I kind of like it, but 35 to 37 miles, I don't know if that's going to last a long entire commute. I would get crazy OCD. And You're going to min-max that, yeah, right? manage that. Yeah. That would drive me crazy. Uh, you know, gas is almost five bucks a gallon here in California. I am looking for a new car. I don't know. It's a little low yeah, for me. You, your, your head is bumping. I was, I was riding the roof. From Maker Faire 2011, I'm Will. I'm Norm. See you guys next time. Bye.